Hello everyone, this is Ronald Damp uh, doing a update on my uh, Reptile Basics uh, cage I just got in. Uh, I told you guys I was going to be doing an update when I, when I received my, it's a 2x3 by, by 12 inch high um, PVC cage. So I'm going to do a review on this right now. Uh, so here it is. I'm going to go ahead and I just received the 2x3 heat kit uh, that I was waiting for. Um, these cages, first off, let me just start by saying the reason why I, I love these cages and racks so much is, is, the, is the way they implement uh, the heating the heating elements into the cage themselves, you know, onto the cage themselves or the racks. Just like the racks, there's a groove slot where, where the thermostat, get this out, thermostat probe channels in like so onto the rack. And then there's a hole from the heat tape where the where the ambient temperature of the air can travel onto the probe. I like this 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 form of, of uh, detecting to the, the, the temperature, uh, controlling the temperature for your for your heat for your heating element. Um, a lot of people like to tape their their, um, their 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 probes directly onto the heat tape. I'm not a fan of that. I don't like doing that. Um, it, it just the tape doesn't stick. It gets hot. It peels off. Just, I just don't like doing it. This way, the way that they do these cages, if you go onto their, on their website, and I don't have a good visual right now of it because I, I'd have to pull all my tubs out and everything like that, but and actually to actually give you a good picture of way the, what I'm talking about, you'd actually have to pull the back of the rack off. If you go onto their website though, Reptile Basics Inc., they, uh, they have a picture, a diagram of what I'm talking about with their racks, okay? So I do on the V70 rack. I think I, was in a, I showed you guys that in a previous video. So, but anyways, on to what we're talking about right now. That's the two by three, two foot by three foot PVC um, cage. This cage has the same thing. A little bit different though. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this camera so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, I have the, the cage flipped on its back right now. So this is the top, or this is the front of the cage. But I'm having, this is the underneath. Look at the bottom of this cage. This is the PVC. This is a recessed area that they've CNC'd out with the probably a machine or something. And then a nice, and then a groove slot right here. Now, sorry, moving around with the camera here. Um, Reptile Basics has these kits already made up. Heat tape. This is a like 11 inch wide, I believe. That's already wired very professionally. And it has a two-sided tape onto it. Or, you know, a two-sided tape attached to it. Um, so all you have to do when you get this is Unstick it, apply it as such, and then you can put your probe in, right, in this groove here. Now this now this probe will be directly underneath the, the heat mat, but for reasons reasons as I stated before. Of why I didn't like the probe placement on the directly on the heat mat or heat tape is because of having to tape it on there, and it just doesn't stay. And you don't ever want your probe to fall off or, 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 or you know, dislodge from its 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 um its, its the area that you need it to be because then you can have raises in the temperature and the thing. Yeah, you don't want that. So, um, so yeah, I'm stoked. Also, I wanted to give Bobby from Reptile Basics. Uh, uh, extra, I mean, just a uh, thank you very much 
for he you know these guys I um, Reptile Basics they every time I've ordered from them they have the fastest shipping when it comes to these racks and cages I know other companies out there and I won't name any names there's others some of the major ones um, they take a long time to to uh, to have your to, you know the shipping time is just it takes a really long time these guys I mean literally a week? I think I got this. I think I got this cage in a week. I mean, within seven days. I'm, I mean, really, something like that. Really great, man. And then I had a zip code problem. I had some kind of issue with my zip code. Uh, yeah. The cage came, but the but the heat mat did not come for some reason because of the zip code. I had there was some sort of a glitch or a discrepancy. Anyways, Bobby with RBI Reptile Basics, he went the extra mile for me. And made sure this thing got to me within within days, within days of me receiving my cage. So thanks, Bobby. Really appreciate it. Um, you know, much much thanks on that. Now I can get my I can get my uh, adult female Brazilian rainbow in her in her new enclosure, which I'm really excited about. So let me um, show you a little bit of. Well, you know what? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna get this heat. I'm gonna get this heat mat installed. Um, onto the cage and get my thermostat probe put in place and then I'm going to put her in the cage and I will check that back in with you guys when I have that done so you can see the final you know the final thing here with her in it all right I'll see you in a few minutes all right everyone it's done she's ready to go so you're gonna witness it Irene in her new enclosure Pretty happy about this. And there's that beautiful girl right there. My pearl phase Brazilian rainbow boa. <clears throat> Cocoa husk. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Dusty. Cocoa husk substrate. Substrate. <coughs> Not a big water bowl. And a uh, Reptile Basics uh, hide box. Uh, just, just for now, basic, uh, just a pretty basic setup. Oh, she wants out. Oh, get back in there. I mean, there you go. Get back in there. And a nice plexiglass front door. Also, wasn't able to show this uh, a few minutes ago because I was still putting things together. Nice latches. Very, very high quality door three latches you know your snake's not getting out um, I have a just a basic uh, thermometer and uh, um, hydrometer back here the zoom in just a basic one center of the cage just to give me uh, an all-around average temperature some people like to put the thermometers on the right cool end or the hot end I just for an average temperature, I put mine right in the middle. Because I have, I have my, uh, my handy dandy, my handy dandy uh, TG412L temp gun right here. This is a, I like this one, this is a good one. So I can always hit my, my spot. So I'm gonna give it a few minutes. I'm using a Herbstat 1. Uh, Thermostat for her cage, uh, and I'm using a Bavarian Electronics V200 uh, for the rack. Uh, the reason, the reason I'm doing that is because the Bavarian Electronics probe fits better in the rack and the uh, tray, the, the routed groove slot where the where the probe goes, it fits better. Uh, the Herbstat one is too long. Just to let you guys know, it's too long. It doesn't. It'll go. It'll fit in, but it only fits in. It only fit in on the horizontal. The yeah, the one turn there in the middle doesn't go the other way. Now it's kind of hard to explain, but I was actually showing you. Um, <clears throat> but it works great on the cage because it's just right in that little groove underneath the heat mat. So uh, she's cruising around. Little, you know, she's 
probably take it a few minutes for her to get uh, get accustomed to what's going on. So that's it. I'm very pleased. Oh, also, as you can tell, there's lighting in here. Uh, let's see if I can get a close up. <sighs> on the Reptile Basic uh, cages, you can opt in for LED lighting strips that are installed. Very nice, very low profile. Here's the top of the cage. Can't even, I mean, it has a little, you can see where it was, where they install it at, but nothing, I mean, just very sleek and out and very hidden. So, and you know, if you have a beautiful snake like a Brazilian rainbow boa, you're gonna wanna show them off or her off and those beautiful colors that they're known for. So, of course, it'll, I'll turn it off at nighttime to give her a, a, a day night cycle. And um, that also helps with breeding too, so. Anyways, I don't wanna make this video too long, so that's my update. Um, I do wanna do uh, a, a video review on these two thermostats, the Varian Electronics versus the Herbstat one, but I don't I don't have time on this video now for that. That'll be a whole, whole separate video, and um, maybe they'll do that here in the near future. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for subscribing, and uh, um, feel free to comment. I enjoy the comments and the feedback. All right, have a great day. Talk to you guys later.